Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Works and welcome to my channel and today I'm giving you my personal review of Aliens Colonial Marines. I have the Extermination Edition as I pre-ordered that edition from game.co.uk. It served as a promotion um, for their pre-order package and I also ordered the limited edition, the box standard edition from play.com. I forgot that I had ordered um, that from play.com so I did receive an email notification telling me that that was dispatched as well as the extermination edition being dispatched. So I just came to the conclusion that I was going to leave the limited edition one sealed and send that back as a return and keep the extermination edition. But I found to my peril that they both arrived late. They both arrived, one arrived a day after release date and the other arrived two days after release date. And it was actually the extermination edition that arrived the latest. So I didn't really want to chance opening the limited edition and rendering that null and void and having to send back the extermination edition. Well, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to get at, right? So anyway, I tried and tried and tried my hardest to light the game. But I think what it was, was that because the games arrived late, I was basically being put on the fence with the game because Aliens is not really a game that I would automatically order and buy. I consider, you know, these games as somewhat stopgap games or impulse buy games where you wouldn't buy them ordinarily, but you would buy them, you know, as a stopgap in between games that you have no hesitation in buying. And this was basically one of the games. I mean, God bless him, Pemby 66, you know, big shoot 'em up fan, big Aliens fan. I'm an Aliens fan too, you know. Um, tried to convince me that it was a good game it's an enjoyable game in his opinion and um, you know I respected that enough to break the seal on one of them which was the extermination edition and um, I started playing it and I must admit at first I was excited with all the cinematics and the graphics and stuff but then when I actually got into the game it was just a case of opening the door, welding the door shut, shooting aliens, you know, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. The guns didn't feel like guns in the controller. There are games that make you feel like you are physically holding a gun. Now, admittedly, I don't play um, Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, I'm not really, a, I wasn't really a big fan of shoot 'em ups first person shoot em ups per se um, Uncharted 3 got me back into the third person shoot em ups from Metal Gear Solid and also Resident Evil um, and Far Cry was really the game that got me turned on to first person shooters more than Call of Duty ever could have done um, but this game I just was not feeling it Maybe it was because I've just felt it was an anti-climax with it all. Um, but in the time that I didn't receive the game and in the time I was waiting on the game, I was looking at the reviews on YouTube and it was more or less split down the middle. Um, people were basically using the tagline, in space, no one can hear you scream for your money back. And that tagline was used a lot. You know, and the main problem of the game for a lot of people was the texture, it looked old, the graphics looked old, looked like a PS2 game for some people. Um, what else was there? Um, the guns didn't fire the way they, they thought it would feel to be fired. Um, but you know, I couldn't take that on board unless I played the game for myself. And because of the fact that 
this game didn't come out with any demo. I think the makers Gearbox were banking on the fact that fans of the franchise would naturally incline themselves towards the game. But even a lot of the die-hard Aliens franchise fans didn't like the game. You know, they compared it with Duke Nukem. Imagine one of the worst shoot 'em ups that was ever made this side of the millennium. And this game was compared to that. Now that's really, really bad. So for me, I'm gonna be returning my shrink wrapped limited edition version and I'm gonna be trading in my extermination edition, which I've already utilized the codes and everything. I'm just glad that I didn't waste another 20 pounds on this season pass. <laughs> that would have really pissed me off to no end. So there you have it. My personal review of Aliens Colonial Marines. This has taught me a very valuable lesson. I will never buy stopgap games upon impulse in between games that I know that I will have no hesitation in buying. If I have any interest in any game whatsoever, they've got to have a demo running. If not, it's not gonna make any sense. As for games like Far Cry 3, which didn't have a demo, it was a game that I saw that looked good. It just looked good. I like contemporary looking shoot 'em ups as opposed to science fiction shoot 'em ups. Because anything you could, you know, anything can happen in a science fiction shoot 'em up. You know, you can have guns that fire squid, an octopus, you know what I mean, at people. And it's feasible in a science fiction game. But I like shoot 'em ups fr from a contemporary point of view. And um, Far Cry 3 done the job in my opinion in converting me into a um, casually converted first person shooter but this game I just was not feeling it I just didn't like the feel of the guns you know it, it just became a little bit too repetitive for me and with the co-op mode it was just a regurgitated um, version of of the campaign. The only difference is, is that you're playing campaign with another set of players, another set of friends, which for me is out of order because for the amount of time the developers took in making this game and the amount of time that the fans were waiting on the game, you know, they should have got better than that. So based upon those findings, um, I'm not even giving a thumbs anything, much less a thumbs down or a thumbs up. I'm just not even raising my hand to even put out my thumb. I'm just not feeling this game. I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling this game. Anyway, that's my short and sweet review, my personal review of Aliens Colonial Marines. Thanks for watching. Later.